Hi there, it's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I wanted to just jump on quick and share a little bit of um, this brand new bundle that I got from the, um, the brand new uh, August to December uh, 2020 mini catalog, which has all the um, holiday goodies in there for all the holidays. And um, so this caught my eye right away. It was part of my uh, one or two on the um, my favorites list that I just had to have. So I wanted to show you um, a few projects that I made with it and show you how easy it is to um, get our envelopes nice and pretty and never a reason for a naked envelope anymore after this set. Let me show you one that I did. Um, this was on my blog last week, and uh, this just shows you the, um, this is all in Just Jade, and um, the ornaments are beautiful, and you can see that there's one die, which I love. It's one stamp, and for the ornaments, and um, one die, and, but the die uh, crops out the seven, six uh, different ornaments, which is great to just pop up. So I stamped all of them uh, and I just popped up a few with dimensionals right on top of it. And I love how that looked. So I wanted to have a coordinating envelope. And the thing with our, um, I could have just made it a liner, which we which we can do. And uh, that that's just super simple. It's just one, one of these dies. Uh, you crop your paper five and a half and um, uh, five and a half inches and it fits right in there and that's just quick and easy but I wanted to make sure I wanted to have the same design on both sides so it was a little tricky but I figured out how to do it and um, and normally I mean our DSP is so beautiful and the both sides are so beautiful but they're different designs so the back side of this was different and I kind of just wanted to see how I could arrange it so that it was on both sides um, so we're gonna do that today so all right let's get going here uh, first let's just this is the the um, this is the card that we're going to uh, replicate today because I wanted to be able to I did the same thing for this envelope here I wanted to make sure that it was the same design back you know on the back and on the on the front flap there so this is gonna be quick and easy we'll put that card together um, I'll show you some other envelopes I did with just this one and that was this uh, liner die was is the same one that I picked up before so the, oh, that's a too big it's the middle one and so that would just go there and as you're running it through you can make one swipe through the die cut machine and um, that's how I came up with that one and I love this uh, pattern too I, I love that color um, okay so I did that we'll, we'll try to see if we can do one of those um, which I'm going to use this pattern, this uh, DSP, because I already have a card made and I wanted to uh, coordinate with that. This is another flap, uh, just a flap that I did. Now normally we would just take a piece of DSP and um, take our envelope, let me show you, and just run your adhesive along all four, four sides of this envelope, which is um, easy to do. And then you would just take your six by six or six by three piece of uh, DSP and then just trim around it. So it's the same thing I did here, except I wanted to have the little scalloped edge. So I used, um, I used this again, but I used it on the, on the flap side. So we'll see if we can, if we have time to do that, but that comes out really cute too. And, uh, this was from the paper the harvest um gilded autumn i think this is brand new paper too perfect for uh the fall and all right so then i took i couldn't resist doing one of my little three by three envelopes because there is a little die for that one here too right here so and that was super simple just cut it uh trim it three by four i think i did and pop that right in there uh what else did i did i did this side here same thing just put a little put, i just ran this 
beautiful dye through on the paper first and then just did what I said before, just put my adhesive around the envelope flap and cropped around it. This same thing, but I used this little die here. So there's so many dies to choose from and um, they're all, they all come out beautiful. Uh, this one, I wanted to keep this because just as a little tip, I, I made a boo-boo on here and I ran this through first um, open. So you can see this is the, uh, the clean side. This was the, the back side of the die, so of the die cut. So just remember when you're running it through that you're gonna run it through open from the front, okay? All right, so let's get going here. I wanted to, this, I did this panel here by just taking a piece of, and, and I will have the, the uh, measurements in the blog post down below uh, of the, uh, the, in the description. And uh, so what I did here was I just put a little bit of um, watercolor, I used watercolor paper, which is here, and um, I just did a little bit of a wash. And I did it in the misty moonlight because that's what I wanted to um, pick up this color here. Uh, this is Misty Moonlight cardstock. I ran that through the, um, the folder, the winter snow folder, which is part of that Snowflake Splendor, I believe, um, bundle or suite. I can't remember which one, which what the name was exactly. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of color on here and I'm gonna take out my, um, my new, brand new, uh, water painters, water painters, we used to call them aqua painters, so now they're called water painters. And what I'm going to do here is just give myself a little bit of a, a wash here. Now, I, I want it light, so I'm going to squeeze a little bit of this barrel is filled with water, and I'm picking the, um, the wide side of the, the bristles. It has uh, wide and medium and small. So you have your choice. Before they just came in packs of two. And I believe they were all the same um, size. Let me get a little bit more water here. There we go. And the watercolor paper picks it up beautifully. And I just want to give this a second to dry before I put it on there. But this is what's going to show through to the back of the um, that die that I, that I cropped out already just to save some time. And I have a little bit... I'm going to add a little bit more color just so that it pops through that envelope just a little bit more. All right, that's it. So let's, oh, I, while I have my ink out, I think I will stamp my uh, sentiment and get my pad. Give that just a second to dry. And I'm taking the sentiment from um, that Snowflake Wishes stamp set, which I love too. And um, I'm going to stamp that on, uh, I cut this out. This was one of the label dies from the uh, Tasteful Touches uh, bundle, but I, the labels are called um, Tasteful Label Dies. So I'm just gonna pop that on there. Okay, now I think here what I did was I, I uh, stamped off before I put that on, but either way is perfectly fine. All right, so that's all ready. We don't have to worry about stamping anymore. And we can get this guy up here. Where's my... All right. It really doesn't... And I love the, using the water paper or the uh, shimmer paper. That Those are my two go-tos when I'm doing watercoloring. All right, let's let this dry just a little bit more before I put it on there. I can put this on, this label on now. Okay, let's see. Oh, my stamp and seal. And all of these products now are available through the new store. If you if you have you done any shopping from the uh, the new store since the uh, the online launch uh, Tuesday, I believe it was. I was really impressed with it. I mean, it didn't change anything for demonstrators, for us when we're placing our orders, but for the um, customers, it's so much easier. It's so much easier to navigate and to uh, find the products that you're looking for. 
So I'm, I'm really happy with it. I think they had a few little blurbs that they had to um, kind of, let me see what I did here. I put that on there. All right, let's just get this on first and then we can pop it on with dimensionals. So I'm just putting it on the edges. And I could have used liquid glue also. All right, I just wanted a little bit to pop through. And there we go. That's all I have to worry about. So that my, so that one piece is is perfect. Okay, I can put that on with some. Well, let me put a little bit of um, my ribbon on there. The, this is adorable ribbon from the. Uh, Oh, I can't remember the name of this one now. I think it was the um, the one with the uh, the three that it came together with the flowers for every season rim um, ribbon combo pack, I believe. I'm not positive on that one. All right, let's see. We're just going to make a little bow right into the center. And now I'm going to pop those on. And I love to be able to use these dies two ways. If I wanted to do it with a, just a, um, for my envelopes, that's, that's the idea. Or, and this is way too much. Or um, to be able to use the die in the design of the card is even more great. All right, I think I'm gonna put a little, little glue dot right on that baby. And I'm going to roll it up so I can't see it. Oops. All right. And then just tuck it under there. Okay. So let's get some dimensionals on here. And we have uh, new dimensionals, uh, new adhesives, a bunch of new adhesives. We have the... Uh, Adhesive strips, adhesive sheets, and um, there's another one, adhesive, I don't know, I don't remember what it's called, but it is fabulous for, um, if, if you have something, you can just cut out the shape of what it is that you're trying to adhere, and it fits beautifully. It's bigger than the dimension, you can make it any shape that you want. All right, so I'm just gonna pop him here. And that came together really nice and fast. Okay, and I'm gonna put my um, my sentiment on. I'll use dimensionals for one side, and then the side that has uh, is already gonna be popped up. That can just go right on here. There we go. Whoops, I forgot to get that one off. Okay, beautiful. So I would add some um, of the enamel dots, but you get the idea. So now I wanted to be able to coordinate my envelope with that perfectly, which is what we're gonna do next. So let's take, um, where is it? It's this one here. So this is trimmed to five and a half. This was, um, I, I had originally cut it to six, six by sixes. And um, this is from the Snowflake um, Splendor uh, DSP pack too, which is really, really cute. Okay, so that is just five and a half. So what I'm gonna do here first is I want to, um, now remember, I wanna, I wanna have the same on the outside that I have on the inside. And it doesn't have to go all the way down to the bottom. That's not necessary, because you can't see that anyway. So what I'm gonna, going to do is trim off um, one and seven eighths of the bottom of it. And that will give me enough. Well, I'll have enough color up on top before we send it through the, um, the die cut, die cutting machine, which I haven't gotten mine yet, the new one. It's available for demonstrators. Uh, customers will be able to get it uh, September 1st. So I'm very excited to be able to get mine soon. I may, we, we don't have um, a date for the mini. I'm not sure if that's what it's called. I think it's the mini. Um, 
Okay, so this is ready to go. So this is how it's going to look when it goes in there. Okay, so we have to make sure that we're going to cut out both. We're going to cut out this whole um, thing together. So let's see. Um, let's send this through the machine first. And let me just bring this guy in here. So I'm going to send this through first and get my die. These dies are just beautiful. And remember I said that we're uh, to put it down flat up front first. Okay, just get it to the, to the uh, score line just as best you can. That will help. Okay, so I have my envelope um, all cropped out with that pretty with that pretty die, and now I just have our double piece of um, our, our piece of DSP that I I made double sided uh, with that extra piece so that it matches the front matches the back. for that. Now, I'm just going to give this a little snip right here, and it will fit right snugly right into the, our envelope, our Whisper White envelope. Okay, so this is going to go right in here, and we want to be able to leave some of the adhesive up there so that they, uh, you'll be able to um, address it and seal it. So, um, but we want it to, now it's, it's pretty doubled up in there. So what I do there is I take my trimmer back out and once I have it where I want it, I score this line right where the envelope score line is just to give it, um, so that we'll be able to turn it right on that paper. Now I don't want to use my cutter but I just want to give it a little help when I'm folding it. And so what I would do there is I would fold this down, fold this on top, and then you see you have the design, both, both, both spots, it's, it's fine. Okay, so what I would do then is then I come back and I put some adhesive on here. this way I mean you don't have to it's just that I mean in this case um, they're both you know party pool party they both work fine um, so that's the other thing here is I want you to uh, leave this down flat and then put your envelope flat on top and if you have a little bit of glue that shows up that's fine it'll keep those pieces intact there and there you go and I, you could just add a little glue dot right underneath there, I think, just in case, you know, when, you're send, when they're sending it through the postal machine, that it wouldn't be, um, it's not going to get pulled up and, and, and teared. So there you go. There is, now this one is a little lighter, I mean a little darker, when I originally did it this time. So it really depends. The water coloring is going to come out different every time. So I'm glad that I did full strength on my... Um, sentiment here because it matched matches that inside so much better okay let's see if we can just do one or two more this one I wanted to do I don't know if I need that anymore um, this one here I was just going to replicate that inside so really the only thing I would do with that is um, just send them both through at the same time let me make sure I got all my little dots out. Okay. So, so for this one, this is already trimmed at five and a half, so you know it's going to fit nicely right down there. And I think I'm off camera, but I'm just sending this through um, with both, I'll show you the plate. Both uh, dies are going to go through at the same time, just like that. Again, just snip off right at those little corner pieces. And 
This is such pretty paper too. This came out of that uh, Plaid Tidings, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if that's the name of the paper, but or the bundle, but I do love myself some plaid. And then that would just fit right in there like that. And I would do the same thing, just um, score it. Make sure you got all your little dots out of there. And I would just score it here um, with my trimmer place it as far up just so you make sure you have a little bit of adhesive and the reason I did this I wanted to show you is because I did this beautiful um, card also and I thought I wanted to pick up the coordinating paper for here um, this was the same on um, the same um, bundle and this stamp set I just used this stamp and I did it three times around overlapped it a little bit and came out great I, I love that okay so that's that one and then I had one more I wanted to show you and this one is um, I just saved this because I'm sure I can use that in the card I don't have a card for this one yet but um, I'm sure I will be and I'm going to use the very vanilla this time for here so this is the same thing now this is just like we would normally would have done before we had these we would just um, glue this all these sides here and put my paper on and just uh, fussy cut right around it. So, but in this case, I wanted to have a little bit of a scalloped edge. So I want, my, the only thing you have to think about is which direction your um, paper is going in. So in that case, I know. Okay, so for this one, we're going to use this die. Not the one, we don't want the one that cuts all the way down inside because this is going to be on the outside, not the inside. So um, I'm using this. Now the only thing I have to be careful with here is the direction. This, this does have a direction to it. So I want to make sure that I am at the bottom. So I'm going to, I'll be off camera for one second and then we can um, fussy cut that right around the envelope. Okay, so for this one, I did crop this, uh, trim this down to two and a half inches, this piece here. And um, then you can see that I used this die to just scallop the edge like that. And the reason I did that is because um, I didn't want it to, once I start, once I glue it on here, I wouldn't be able to uh, trim it from that side. So it's gonna be a little bit over, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna go right to the score line here, flatten it down and just do some fussy cutting around the side. And that's all that that is. And then I'll just kind of round this edge a little bit. And then there's still plenty of adhesive. You don't have to worry about that doing it this way. And this has a beautiful finished envelope flap edge to it. So that that was another goodie that I that I like to have um, to do. And that that's so simple. That just took two seconds. Okay, so those are um, just a few. I mean, I haven't even gotten into some of the other ones, but so those are a few of our um, options that we have with this fantastic bundle. Also here on the stamp set, you know how you get crazy with writing um, the address out when it comes to doing your holiday cards? Well, this makes it so easy for you. It's right here and so easy to stay on the lines. Um, I did that here with this envelope. And then also there's little uh, corner borders to just fill in some extra space with. So uh, I'm just thrilled with this with this bundle. And I hope you will be too. Um, check it out. It is in the new, brand new catalog. And um, it has many, many options for you. And I hope you can take advantage of it. And um, I will have all the, the uh, measurements for what I did here today in the description. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, some of them will I, I can link back to the original um, blog post that I had done for these cards. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy the, um, the video, please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and or at least give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, it helps me be able to continue to do these um, little videos. 
and um, and that's it I hope you'll check it out there's many many beautiful products in our new catalog and um, if you need a catalog just visit my blog lollipoppaperandink.com and you will um, there's a, a a, a post there if you do need a, a catalog. I'll be happy to send you one uh, free of charge. Okay, thank you so much for joining me again. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.